Okay. Oh, baby zombie. No. Nobody likes you. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Why are there so many freaking skeletons? Why? Why is there a thing? What is up, my wonderful little pups? And welcome back to another episode of Destiny Islands. In this episode, I've got quite a bit planned. I don't know how well it's gonna all fit together, but I am gonna do my best. The first of which being, if I can get out my door, uh, I set up a little tutorial thing again. Thongcraft stuff and things. <laughs> yeah. So, we started off our first mod being Batania. And then we just worked on odds and ends like storage, and then we got some technology going. We kind of did nature, I guess. Farming nature. <laughs> Technically. Sort of, but not really. So I figured I'd go back to another magic mod. I mean, I never actually showed you guys any farming or anything. But we are doing Thumbcraft. Alright. Now, about Thumbcraft, when you want to get started with it, you have to first have a Thumbonomicon. If you can't find one, all you have to do is take a bookshelf and a wand, which is what you're making right here. Thumbcraft wand. Um, and then you tap, you right click on the bookshelf with the wand, and it will create a Thumbonomicon. And a Thumbonomicon is about the only way you will be able to create anything in Thumbcraft because you need to unlock research and do those research in a research table for Thumbcraft to unlock any recipes, and the recipes are not available in uh, NEI. So, look here. If I type in at Thumbcraft, see here? The recipes that are not available are the ones like this one. See, I'm clicking. Nothing's happening. Because th this is a recipe you don't have to unlock. But every recipe that you click on that doesn't open up a, uh, a recipe for are recipes that you need to do research to unlock in the Thumbnomicon. And the recipes will never be visible from NEI. You have to do it via the Thumbnomicon. And... Let's see, the research, <clears throat> one of the first things you'll ever need is, of course, a thermometer, and that's used to discover the aspects that are in objects, component aspects, and, you know, it just it's stuff like that. It's pretty simple. If you want to read this, you can pause it and read it, but I don't have the time to read through all of it in this episode. And then scribing tools can be made one of two ways which is a glass file, a feather, an ink sack, or you can make it with a glass bottle, a feather, and an ink sack. And this is just to refill the ink when the ink runs out in the scribing tools. That's what the very next uh, recipe is. Like I said though, you can pause and read through these. And this is just about the research table itself and creating uh, the recipes with the research notes which you need the scribing tools to make with the Thaumonomicon so that's that if you want to read all this just pause alrighty so that's that uh, the next thing is the crucible um, yeah, the crucible. And all the crucible is, is a cauldron that you tap with a wand. But yeah, it's basically what the crucible is about is distilling all the different aspects out of things you drop into it. And then you can throw something in the crucible with those aspects if it's a basic component um, in with the aspects, it will, you know, produce something else. 
The next thing we're making is an arcane work table, which is, you know, just placing a wand on a table. It will actually place the wand. You can take the wand out afterwards, but it will actually place it. And a research table, which is scribing tools with two tables next to each other. And to make the tables, all you have to do is have wood and two planks, like so. Alright. And the thermometer is the first one that I showed you. And these other two over here are just some extra things that I'm going to be making because I need them. <laughs> Alright, so first we make a thumbcraft wand. To do this, you need iron nuggets, which is simply taking an iron bar, well, two iron bars technically, and rain. Great. Which is simply taking two iron bars and turning them into nuggets to have enough to do the basic layout for a helmet with nuggets times two. So you have two iron caps. And then you take a stick and place it like this, with the iron caps on either end diagonally, and you have your first wand. Isn't it lovely? Look at it, so pretty. Alright, so then the scribing tools. I decided to go with the glass file idea because I don't want to waste glass to make one, or not, well no, I think glass makes three glass bottles, was it? But I can just make eight of these and I have uses for these later. So, you make these, and then you can combine them in any way in the crafting station, doesn't matter how, just as long as we're within it, and then you'll have your scribing tools. And then the crucible is basically just a cauldron, and let's see if it works. Yep, you don't need any viz in the wand to accomplish that, and it will stay a cr uh, crucible even if you break it, so that's cool. Research table and arcane table. Now all you gotta do for this is make three tables, which is oak wood and oak wood slabs in this uh, orientation. And then a thermometer. I'm gonna make three of them because later you'll unlock another recipe that requires two thermometers to create the goggles of revealing. And then you need to have another thermometer anyway to be able to uh, take aspects from a newly discovered like node and stuff like that. So that requires shards of any kind. I chose order because that's the one I had the most of. Glass and gold on either side. And then you have your thermometers and they do not stack. Just so you know. Alright, so the first thing I want to do with all this is discover what kind of node this guy is. So you hold right click Ah, 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 can't understand him yet. Yeah. That's the complicated part. Alright, so we can study that. Basically what you have to do in order to get anywhere in this game is do a whole bunch of researching of just random stuff. So all you need to do, though, is run around and just scan a whole bunch of stuff. So I'll leave that up to you to figure out. And so I'm going to come up here and set up the area. First, I'm going to place the table that's going to be the crafting, the workbench thing, like so. See, and then you can take your wand back out, and it just turns it into this. And then you can place the other two tables next to it and use the scribing tools on that. And that also makes it to where you can take out the scribing tools. You need them in your inventory along with paper to do research. So actually I'll need those for in a minute. And then I shall put the crucible over here. And then I have this chest here for research notes. In case you're wondering. And I'll go ahead and throw these guys in here. Let me go get some paper. Do this. See, it says, click to get a research note for this research. Okay, you need paper and scribing tools in your inventory to do that. And it will tell you you already have it in your inventory if you already made that research note. However, if you place that research note in a chest, and then you look at it in the uh, Thaumonomicon, it will show up as you not having it. So be careful that you don't accidentally do that. The scribing tools have to be in here to link. Now we can't do this yet, 
because I haven't discovered the aspects. I'll be doing that on my own off screen so you guys don't have to waste your time watching me fiddle fart around. Okay, I'll keep this with me and the wand with me because we're about to go traveling. Now, the very next thing that I had set up was a sound muffler. And that requires a note block first, so you need redstone surrounded by uh, blocks, wind blocks. And then you need to surround it with wool to make a sound muffler. And what that, what I'm getting this for is these chickens are getting annoying. I've gotten Jeffrey a bunch of buddies, he's been sitting in his roost in there, and I just wanted to, please get out of there, please. One of them just suffocated. Alright, there. There's the sound muffler. Do you hear how quiet it got? It cuts down the sound within an 8 block radius of the block by 80 to 90 percent, I believe it was. So now the chickens and the rain are super quiet. But, if you leave the area where the muffler is, it gets loud again. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, a chicken suffocated. <laughs> Alright, the next thing I have set up is the hang glider. If you've never heard of a hang glider, when you use the hang glider to travel to places, like you go somewhere really high, you can jump up and use the hang glider in the air, and you will basically glide for long distances. And that makes travel so much easier in this mod pack if you have yet to get angel wings. So, that requires leather and sticks in this order. Uh, you need two leather in each of these spaces and two sticks in each of these spaces to make two glider wings. And then you place both the glider wings on either side of a stick to create the hang glider. Now, if we come over here... I've got this set up in here. Um, actually, I've just realized that I am one short on wool and ender pearls because I'm making elevator blocks so that I can go up high without having to, you know, waste time climbing an elevator or an elevator. So I don't have to waste time climbing ladders. There we go. But I am one short. I counted the platforms that I created, but not not the uh, uh, not the base one. So you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna take this cactus. I'll find something else to plant there. All right, because if I cook this cactus now. It'll give me cactus green, because I know I have quite a bit of white wool in here from just killing sheep that have gotten in my way. Okay. There we go, cactus green. Put the cactus green in the middle. Wait, what was that? Pipe sealant? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, green wool. And if we come over here, we can just add it like so, and then ta-da! All of them that we need. And in fact, there is actually a swamp this direction. Uh, and now that I think about it, it's not that far away, so I shall see you there in a moment, because I am going to go get one of my favorite flowers in vanilla Minecraft to put in that pot. Alrighty, here we are at the swamp with like a bajillion mobs. I mean, good lord. Ah! Whoa, what the heck? Jeez. Ah, oh, god. Turn off F7. Blinding me. Oh jeez, I better eat. Okay. Let's 
Let's hurry up and... There's one. Okay. Just grab it. Grab it and run. Grab it and run. Alrighty, back home with my wonderful little blue orchid and stuff chock full of arrows. <sighs> anyway. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah, my favorite flowers in Minecraft are like the blue orchid and then the, what is it called, an allium, the purple one. And then the different tulips. And then I think it's the daisy, then the poppy. Something like that. I can't remember. <laughs> Alright, so now we have these guys. And I bet you're wondering how I'm going to place them. Well, about that. Yeah, I've I've set up some stuff and things, <laughs> which is going to take just a little bit to set up the rest of the way. All I did was I uh, piled up. I did a nerd pole. Thank God the rain is gone. All right, I did a nerd pole, and I placed one elevator right here, and then I go up this ladder. I put water at the bottom of this so I after I built all the way up to where I needed to be I could just fall and then I've got to place the next elevator block directly above where the other elevator is and if you watch if I shift I'm now down here and if I space I hop up a level neat isn't it and uh, so I just continue up I just shift and come out and place the final one. Alright, and now I technically don't even need this. Coming all the way to the top and going to our destination. Now, the first place I wanted to go was over there. Interestingly enough, well there are a lot of shiny mobs down there. Them are OP mobs, good gosh. Anyway... <laughs> So, let's do this. Have your hang glider in your hand and jump! Whee! <laughs> oh, there's a king slime. We should kill him while we're here. And all you have to do it while you're descending, hold shift and spiral. If you want to get to a specific location. <laughs> hang gliders are awesome! Hello, Mr. King Slime. Alright, now let's take care of this King Slime, shall we? There we go. Found the right spot. Eh. Die. Die, Mr. King Slime. <laughs> this is so cheating, I know, but... Alright. Hi, buddies. How you doing? See, why does it do that? Should, like, it doesn't turn into... I'm just gonna keep it as an epic shader. I don't know. The other two that I got turned into something, but this one just decided to be a jerk, and, you know, I need to get my food ready. Alright, so I got a king slime. What is that supposed to say? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, but I got that, that, and a miniature heart. I love getting yellow miniature hearts from them, guys. Alright, so, if we come over here... To what I've marked, this is a Thumbcraft dungeon. Okay? Now, there's an entrance here, right here. You have to be careful when you enter these, because they are chock full of enemies. And they will be coming from all different directions within this dungeon. So, we shall be raiding this. Let's see what we can get. Be ready. At a moment's notice to destroy spawners. Okay. Oh, baby zombie. No. Nobody likes you. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Why are there so many freaking skeletons? Why? Why is there a thing? Place torches, place torches, place torches, place torches. Torch, 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 torch. Torch it up, torch it up. 
<laughs> That's good enough. All right. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. You're special. Okay. Don't, don't get hit by this guy. This guy will rock your world. And not in a good way. Are you running from me, chicken? Just because I'm killing you? <laughs> now, uh, normally, normally there's a node here. There it is. This guy right here? Let's see if we can scan him. Probably not, but we're going to try anyway. Nope, can't scan him. I don't want to destroy him. I'd like to be able to come back and scan him. And maybe he'll be a really useful node, so we'll just leave him. And we don't need these spawners, but I'll leave them here anyway. So you, you come down here, you break these, and they'll give you various things. Most often than not, they'll just give you gold coins. And then there's a chest here. Take everything out of here as fast as you possibly can, because sometimes there are traps, and they are no fun. Sometimes it will uh, create an explosion. I've had that happen to me once before. It scared the absolute crap out of me. <laughs> it was no fun at all. Alrighty, guys. So here we are at the obelisk. Now, these guys are tough. So I would not engage them yet. Because, you know, they'll murder you. <laughs> but they're doing like a, a ceremony kind of thing. But if you get too close, they will chase you. They will chase you down. Believe me. They will. So, don't mess with these guys unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> now I'm going to go to the next point I marked for you guys, so hold on just a minute. Hmm, got redwood saplings. Cool. <laughs> and I came all the way up here on the top of this ginormous, very beautiful redwood tree so I can do this. Oh my gosh. King slime. Die. And from that, I got another epic shader that will also only go down to a smaller shader grab bag, so. Yeah. Ooh, King Slime Hatchet. Cool. Oh my gosh! It's a chance cube! Well, we have to break it now. Please don't die. What do I get? Ooh, another North Star! Yay! If you find a totem, you can sometimes scan theirs. If you have everything unlocked, which I do not. Also need to study things that move. But look! Loot! Lots and lots of loot. And diamond horse armor, yay! Alrighty, so we're here to open our six chance cubes. Six likes on the last episode. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad you guys liked the episode. Now, let's get right to it. Oh no! Oh, why? Oh, jeez, why? No, no, no. No, 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 buddy, no. No, no. I've just got to run around like a crazy person. Hey, look, snow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, man. Stop it. I'm not going to be able to see him. Oh, I hope you go away. Let me just keep going this way. Don't destroy my bed, please. Okay. Okay. Where is he? Me and ghasts, man. Ugh! Are you visible now? No, but I know where you are. Oh god, oh god, why? Why did this have to happen to me? Why right now? Oh my god, no. Don't, no, no, wait. Dig out, dig out, dig out. God, bad place to be stuck. Bad place to be stuck. Okay. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I have a bow somewhere. I know I did. There it is. Uh, 
arrows aren't in my inventory. Come on, hit him. Gosh. This is so much harder than it is in the nether. Yes, I got him! Yay! Woohoo! Oh, look at that! I even got a ghast here. And some gunpowder. <laughs> Guys, that was an intense battle, but you're not gonna see that because. Yeah, that's gonna take way too long to show. <laughs> that was crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. Clean up my inventory here. <laughs> Got some snow. Alright, let's try to get this to the rest of these over quickly and hope we don't get another gas. That would be awful. Oh my gosh, it gave me more chance cubes! <laughs> Was that a troll? I think that was a troll. It was just to scare me. Alright, I can do this this time. I know what I'm doing when it comes to these. And now I have free TNT! Yay! <gasps> don't look at them, don't look at them, don't look at them, don't look, don't look. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> I think that's just a troll. I don't know if it matters if you look at them or not. Oh god, please no. Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh, Hero Brian does not like me! Thank you for leaving. No? No. Okay. You said no. As in, you're not allowed to break that. <laughs> then you gave me farming tools. Okay. And a Giga Breaker, that's cool. I haven't got one of those yet. And a cake, but is it a lie? Alrighty, guys. I think that this is where I'm going to leave off this episode. It ran a little long. I'm going to try to cut it down as much as possible so you guys don't have to deal with it. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give that like button a love a lick. Bark at each other in the comments. Pot that subscribe button if you want to keep up with me and all the howling that I do. Invite your friends to come howl with us. You know, share the videos around to get people to come to our community and join us on this awesome, awesome channel. And keep humble and hungry, my pups. How at you next time. I have no idea. I've tried a million times. Oh, oh get off there. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't go as planned. That did not go as planned. Oh man, if I jumped at just the right moment, I think I could have done it just then. I'm here. That sounds That's a little fishy. Physical activity. Clarissa. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just. Everyone's okay, alright? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just. Yep. Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday.